Honorable Senators, I also rise today to speak on World Refugee Day and thank Canadians for opening your doors and your hearts to my refugee family and many other South Asians who fled Uganda 50 years ago. In June 1972, 50 years ago, I was a student living in London, England with my three siblings. My mother was visiting and was with us when we received the worst phone call of my, our lives, informing us that my father, a Ugandan member of parliament, had been killed by President Idi Amin's soldiers. Our world came crashing down, but my mother did not give up hope. The next day, we heard a knock on the door. It was my father, Shirley Bandali Jaffer, who had fled Uganda to come to England. We could not believe our eyes. My father never shared details on how he escaped with us, but we know that he had help from his friends in the military. Many of his colleagues were not so fortunate. My husband and I went back to Uganda and were there on August 3rd, 1972, when the president declared that he would be expelling all Ugandan Asians. My husband and I were in the process of leaving Uganda when the army showed up at my in-laws' home. I will never forget that day. Young military men had four guns pointing towards him, two facing his head and two poking his stomach, forcing him into a jeep. Luckily for us, the police arrived and insisted my husband be taken to the police station and not army barracks. Luckily, my husband, Nurala, was released later that day, and we left Uganda as soon as we could. His Highness the Aga Khan and his uncle, who was a UN Commissioner for Refugees, Prince Sadruddin at the time, intervened. They convinced then Prime Minister Pierre Elliott Trudeau and several other go global leaders to help us. We were fortunate to be rescued so quickly and are forever grateful to Canadian immigration officials like Mike Molloy, Mike Molloy who came to Uganda and quite literally saved our lives. My story is not unique. Hundreds of refugees before me and after me have had similar experiences. Honorable Senators, on this International World Refugee Day, let us not forget the women, men, and children languishing in refugee camps all over the world. They have lost everything and we are in a privileged position to provide them with something that they long for, hope. Hope for a brighter future for themselves and for their families. I will forever remain indebted to Canadians for opening their doors to me and my family when we needed you. I hope we can keep our hearts and our doors open to refugees around the world and give them hope for a better tomorrow. Thank you, Senators.